it was an instance where the past met the present. This has been a nice day, it really has been. Deborah Hudson and Sherry Hickey, who cheered at Coastal in the 1980s, were presented with uniforms they wore back then. I cannot believe it. I thought that they were all gone. Kudos to Ron. <laughs> I think that's, that's very sweet of him to um, you know, invite us back. Ron is Ron Walker, a longtime CCU employee. He saved the uniforms from going into a dumpster back in 2012. It's just such a, a great part of coastal history, and I have uh, had them ever since. Viewing the uniforms as pieces of CCU history means Deborah and Sherry played a part in building what Coastal has become. Folks like them play a huge part in, uh, in that foundation. There are obvious differences between then and now. When we were cheering, it, you know, we had, it was red and white. I did not have any idea that it was going to be red, but I think that that's really cool because it just kind of shows how we used to be with USC and now we've branched off to make our own school. Being a part of USC back then is just part of the journey of where we're at now. Just to see that things have changed and progressed in a positive way, I think it's great. Oh ladies, that looks awesome. Deborah and Sherry reflect yeah, fondly on their time as cheerleaders. There would be tears when, you know, when we would lose a special game and happiness when we would win. It was so much fun. I just enjoyed the group so much and I'm a little shy, so it was really good to meet other people. Several current cheerleaders were present and the team even received a piece of memorabilia. It was nice to see how different it was when they cheered compared to how like it is for us. They are so well trained athletes. When we were doing it, it was mostly if you could just jump. The past and the present, all a part of Teal Nation. We tend to think about our future with CCU, but I think the past plays a huge part in getting to the future.